So as I mentioned, uh, most gene therapy that we do today um, uh, is really ex vivo gene therapy, um, where we take out patient stem cells, fix them, and then give them back. And primarily, we've been using lentiviral vectors. Uh, and so our institution, in collaboration with others, has been running a gene therapy trial for patients with Fanconi anemia subtype A, where we're taking out patient stem cells prior to them developing bone marrow failure, fixing them with lentiviral vectors that contain the Fank A gene, and then reinfusing them into patients. Uh, those stem cells that are now gene corrected and graft, uh, and then continue to give rise to blood and immune cells uh, that are able to persist and maintain the blood and immune system in these Fanconi anemia patients. The challenges though are that you have to identify these patients fairly on in their disease process before they lose all of their stem cells. Um, uh, and we only have gene therapy available for patients with the Fank A subtype. Uh, and there's 23 different genes that cause Fanconi anemia. Uh, but this is the most common one and we're, we're first pioneering gene therapy for the Fanconi anemia patients.